Good afternoon, everyone. It's Doug from Vermont Hoyas, and welcome to a discussion of day length manipulation and getting stubborn Hoyas that won't flower and bringing them into bloom. Uh, we're going to talk about three different Hoyas and what I did to bring them into flower. This is Hoya species IM-08. Uh, it's yet to be um, have a name assigned to it, but it will be shortly. Uh, see if you can pick up on these flowers. The problem with these flowers are they are so small. You'll see a lot of still photos of them at the end of the video, but they're very small. They are fragrant though. I discovered when you have enough of them in bloom. This plant here, I never had more than a couple of flowers at any one time and I couldn't figure out what the secret was to getting this thing to bloom profusely. Um, it is covered with flowers. Now I don't know how well you can see them um, and buds. There are tiny buds popping out all over, all over this plant. And the secret, what brought this thing into bud was cutting its day length back from 13 hours to 11 hours. And doing that almost spontaneously brought this plant into bud. So if you're having difficulty like I had with IM-08 and bringing it into flower, the secret is to cutting the day length back. And I wanna talk about the easiest way to do that. <laughs> smart plugs um i discovered these probably about a year ago and they made a huge difference for me it is so easy to manipulate the day length with these things they're tiny little things they only cost about under eight dollars a piece you can see they connect to wi-fi they go into your phone you name each one of these things and you can change the day length by a minute a day and just gradually have the day length increase or decrease if you want to just really easy really easy to do it i've thrown all my mechanical timers out i only use smart plugs now so this is a a hack for me um just so incredibly easy to run your grow lights using smart plug so that's what i would recommend using the next hoya we're going to talk about another another hoya i have to get this big little leaf plant out of the way the next hoya i manipulated the day length with is hoya calicina stargazer and look at the look at the floral display on that just absolutely crazy this is the nicest floral display I have ever had on this plant and the scent is so overwhelming this entire basement it just smells like perfume it's just it's insane just an incredible display once again this plant went immediately into bud when cutting its day length back this time from 14 hours to 12 hours just completely covered in flowers and the next Hoya I'm gonna bring you um, which isn't it's totally in bud it hasn't gone into flower yet we'll go over here to the grow tent it's Hoya Pistio Lepsis it's been a year and a half since I got my first peduncle on it and nothing would bring it into bud but in this case the reverse strategy worked and bringing it into bud. Look at these things. I have 10 different peduncles covered in buds. The secret to bringing this one into bloom was increasing the day length. That's what this one wants. So I took it from 12 hours to 13 hours and immediately all of these buds popped out on this plant. I'm very excited. It will be the first time I've flowered this and I will bring this back when this thing is in bloom and add it to the end of this video because you're probably as excited as I am to see the actual flowers when they open up. But yes, yeah, so increasing day length. So these really tough to flower Hoyas, it's all about day length, a constant day length, never changing your light cycle under grow lights. 
Um, it works great for a lot of Hoyas. They don't have any problem with it, but certain ones, if they just won't flower for you, the problem has to be addressed by changing that day length. Whether you increase it or decrease it, that you've almost got to experiment unless you can find someone who has already done the experiment. And in this case, Pisciolepsis increased the day length. I am 08 and Calicina Stargazer, you would decrease the day length. So that's it for now and I'll be back with Pisciolepsis when all of these blooms open. See you in a bit. Good morning everyone, I'm back with Hoya Pisciolepsis. The final segment in my uh, time manipulation, day length manipulation and flowering Hoyas. Uh, this may be the most spectacular Hoya Pisciolepsis that um, any of you will have ever seen. It's definitely uh, the most spectacular that I have ever seen and one of the most spectacular Hoyas that I've flowered in the last couple of years. Just absolutely amazing. The thing is fully engulfed in flowers now, in buds. The flowers are much bigger and much nicer than I had imagined. They smell lightly of uh, caramel. And let's try to take a closer look at some of the flowers. It's just, it's just absolutely spectacular. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a close up of those flowers. Oh, it's, there we go. It's not wanting to really focus, but each one is slightly pubescent. It's just, they're just absolutely lovely. The video and the photos, you don't really get the appreciation that you would in real. The, the blooms are just much bigger than I had imagined from the photos I'd seen. Um, this plant will do a slow turnaround. But I lost count after 15, 15 different peduncles covered in buds and flowers. Just, just shocking. One of the most floriferous Hoyas I've ever had. I waited a long time to do this, but you know what? The wait was worth every second. Just just fabulous definitely this Hoya has got to go in your must-have as part of your collection the leaves are are slightly pubescent just the I, I had no clue I would ever see these when I couldn't even get one peduncle to butt up and now I have 15 completely full of flowers, and this was all done through increasing the day length. This Hoya is a native of Papua New Guinea, first discovered in the early 1900s, and then rediscovered in the, in the 2000s at some point, because this was never, never part of the... Uh, um, vendor lists or anything that I except for the last couple of years so it had to have been rediscovered just just stunning just stunning well I don't have much more to say about this other than it's growing in coconut husk it was completely flowered and grown artificially and brought into bloom by increasing a day length well I thank you for taking the time and visiting with myself while I talked about manipulating day length to bring in the flowering of hard to flower, hard to bloom Hoyas. And I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya growing tips. Thanks again for watching.